a small coastal town in Uttar Kannada district of Karnataka, is preserved slice of simplicity in today's era of sweeping globalization. Having been around since the reign of kings, the town has seen and absorbed eons that have passed through it. Hanava today, therefore, is a unique blend of village life against the background of modernity that is knocking its door. Located approximately 186 kilometers away from the bustling international tourist hub of Goa, a commercialized global village, Hanava represents the minority of villages with tribal people living in and around them. The year 2004 witnessed a remarkable turning point in the history of Hanavar. St. Ignatius School of Nursing was instituted under the able leadership of Reverend Sister Maria Goriti Esare, the then province animator of Karnataka Goa Province of Missionary Sisters of the Queen of the Apostles. The purpose was to educate rural girls in professional courses to make them competent, to meet the demands of the present scenario of their own health as well as their family members. Ten years down the lane, the School of Nursing transformed into St. Ignatius Institute of Health Sciences. Today, the institute provides professional education in general nursing and midwifery courses, basic BSc nursing and post-basic B.Sc. nursing catering to 315 students. The locals have easy access to these courses instead of going to places such as Mangalore, Udupi, Belgam, Hubli, etc. to take up a career in nursing. batches of general nursing and midwifery courses and three batches of B.Sc. nursing have been successfully complete with 100% results. Students are spread across the world and with skills obtained are reaching out to the needy patients. percent of our students are employed at hospitals in Mumbai, 20 percent are spread around the country in Delhi, Pune, Indore, Calcutta, Madhya Pradesh, Kerala and 30 percent are working in our own Karnataka that is predominantly in Bangalore, Mangalore and Belgium, the bulk of them serving in government sectors, 10 percent are working in Goa and 20% in countries like UK, Singapore, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Ireland, Australia and Kuwait. They have also been awarded with honours such as Best Bedside Nurse, Best Ward in Charge. Few of them have chosen to pursue their higher education. The institute is a blend of students, with most of them hailing from different states, possessing culture and background. They hail from Kerala, Dakshina Kannada, 
महाराष्ट्र गोवा ओडिशा झारखंड उत्तर प्रदेश मध्य प्रदेश बिहार एंड फ्रॉम द कलरफुल लैंड ऑफ सेवन सिस्टर्स दैट इज आसाम मणिपुर त्रिपुरा मिजोराम एंड मेघालय द कल्चर्स लैंग्वेज एंड ट्रेडिशंस ऑफ दीज स्टूडेंट्स कीप्स द कैंपस लाइवली The school stands for its discipline and academic excellency achieved under the leadership of edified principals Sister Verita, Miss Irene Mathias and Sister Susan along with the efficient cooperation of the administrator guidance of the dedicated director with minute monitoring and guidance of the presidents of the institution the management also owes a lot to the qualified and determined faculty who put in extra hours of effort to train the students to meet the challenging demands of the profession creative and dynamic methods of education are utilized in order to train students in line of our motto and philosophy of the institution love knowledge and service classrooms with special learning facilities and audio visual aids provides the opportunity for the students to move along with time a well equipped computer lab and other labs in the college helps to access the unlimited knowledge and practice on skills nursing requires the head heart and hands to be trained the students are posted for clinical practice and skill development to st ignatius hospital honavar taluka hospitals honavar and kumta and at goretti hospital kalyanpur students travel by the college bus accompanied by a tutor for clinical teaching and demonstration in order to expose the students in advanced technology and specialty they have been sent for external posting special features of the college situated on the hillock of honavar it experiences calmness and less disturbances from noise the college begins at 8 am with the students assembly and closes by 5 pm majority of our students reside in the hostel situated within the campus while a few travel from home Daily Eucharist and Blessed Sacrament 
is exposed to the students in order to strengthen their spiritual needs. Yearly retreats are conducted to heal oneself and to take guidance. Counseling too is arranged. The solemn ceremony of lamp lighting and oath taking of initiating the budding nurses into the nursing profession is celebrated every December. Graduation ceremony is another joyful event where we celebrate the hard labor of our students of their academic achievements. Students are actively involved in learning process as well as in educating others. They are involved in presentation, workshop, conferences, seminars, discussion, debates, field trip, computer assisted learning, etc. The seminar on IMNCI, workshop in organization of NICU and rally on care of a common home enhance the knowledge of the students. They are encouraged to attend the conferences and seminars organized by other institutions. As a part of their curricular program, and to bring awareness to the society of the epidemic, non-epidemic diseases, its prevention and treatment, they impart knowledge to the public in hospitals and community through various health talks, demonstration and role play. They are actively involved in the medical camps conducted by St. Ignatius Hospital and St. Ignatius Health and Education Centre. They provide school health education in various schools of the Taluka in order to bring awareness among the students on various health topics. Orientation to social work has also encouraged them to donate blood during blood donation drives. The college consists of several departments such as Medical Surgical, Pediatrics, Psychiatry, Community, OBG, Research, Fundamentals which encourage promotion of skills and knowledge of the students. As the nursing profession dwells into evidence-based practice, the students are encouraged to take up the research project work in groups and carry out systematically. An educational tour with purpose is planned for the fourth year BSc nursing students to Delhi to witness and widen their knowledge in the field of administration and management by visiting highly sophisticated institutions and organizations. Keeping in mind that the learning is a continuous process, the faculty of the institution share their knowledge by conducting continuing nursing education on selected topics and take part in national, international conference conducted by various institutions. The institute aims at training the students in holistic manner they have been given multiple opportunities to draw out their inherent talents and abilities. Cultural events, sports and arts competitions are conducted and awarded.
under the mantle of Medivision 2017, the institute organized the BLS training for the staff and students and involved in the medical exhibition conducted for the rural population of Hanava Taluk. We are very happy to say that our hospital is ISO certified and we are in the process of NABH accreditation. Arise, awake and stop not till the goal is reached, said Swami Vivekananda. So let's keep going, growing and glowing.